Hey guys, Sam here from Right Sonic, and in this quick video, I wanted to give a demo of our brand new Sonic Mode feature. So without further ado, let's get right into it. As you can see, I'm here on the Right Sonic's dashboard page. So what I'm going to do here is I'll search for Sonic Editor. So if you have never used it before, this is basically like a super powerful version of Google Docs essentially and we are adding a bunch of AI powered writing and editing features on top of this to make it way more powerful than Google Docs or Microsoft Word essentially. So what I'll do is I'll just quickly load this feature. Now this is what the uh, Sonic Editor feature used to look like and basically we have added a bunch of options on the top here. So in this video I'll talk about the Sonic Mode option which we just added. So I'll just click on this button over here and this changes the UI a bit. Now we have sort of like a 50-50 screen split where on the right hand side we have our editor and on the left hand side now we have this whole section where you can load literally any feature that is available on Right Sonic, and you can inject or insert the results from that feature right into the Sonic editor. So basically this will help you really streamline your content writing workflow because you know you can you have access to like hundreds of AI models here or hundreds of content types that can be generated with AI and this will really speed up your writing workflow. So let me quickly show you an example here. So for the purpose of this video let's say if we wanted to write a blog post on email marketing. So usually if you were to do it from scratch, you would kind of start here from the editor where you would kind of, you know, start writing your title and then intro and then, you know, some of these other things like outlines and the other paragraphs. What we'll do here is let's start with the idea first, like the blog idea or the article idea. So what I'm going to do is here I'll click on AI article ideas and this loads our form that will help us generate the ideas for us. So let's say in this case my topic is email marketing. So I'll just type in email marketing. I'll select how many outputs I want. I'll just keep three to begin with and then click generate. Just like the normal article ideas feature this will come back with three different results here because we selected three outputs and you can go through them. You can sort of generate more if you like or if you are happy with any of them, you can just you know click on it and insert it. So for example, let's go with this one, 10 tips to improve your email marketing campaigns. Now what I'll do is there's this arrow button over here that lets you insert this text into the, into the editor essentially. So I'll just click this. And what this will do is it will insert this text wherever my cursor is at. If your cursor is not there on the editor, then this basically appends the text at the end of the editor, like at the end of the last few characters that you wrote. So here what I'll do is I have my title here. Instead of 10 tips, let's say I'll, I'll go with five and I'll just quickly add some formatting over here. So I'll make it bold. Now, because we have our title, the next thing that we want to do is come up with the introduction paragraph. So again, you can write from scratch here. You can use the sort of like the write with AI feature, but you need like 20 words here. So what I'll do is I'll go to the intro feature over here. I'll enter in the input, which in this, this case would be the title of our blog post. I'll click the generate button. And this time it will generate a bunch of blog intro paragraphs for us. So here we have about three different paragraphs approximately 100 to 110 words in length. So let's say I pick the first one. I'll just put my cursor over here and then I'll click this arrow button. Now, as you can see, this has inserted the text into the editor. Once again, I'll just make it a normal font. And now you can modify it as you wish. You can make any changes as required or you can just proceed with the next steps. So now that we have our title and our introduction, the next thing we need is the outline, like the different subheadings that we want to have. So again, I'll go back to the outlines feature and I'll type in the title first. I'll just remove the extra space. And then I'll type in the introduction paragraph and I'll click the generate button. So here we have our different outlines. Let's say, 
Let's say we go with the first one, drip campaigns, keep your subject line short and sweet, A-B testing and so on. So I'll just click on this button and this just adds it at the end of the text here. So again, what I'll do is I'll add some double hashtags here just for formatting sake and to let the AI know that this is actually a subheading. Okay, so we have our title, we have our intro and we have our different subheadings within our blog post. Now the next thing that I'll do is I'll put my cursor over here because this is the heading that I want to write on. I want to write one paragraph here. So now there are two ways that you can write a paragraph here. First one is, you know, you can just take this and dump it in our paragraph writer feature. So you just uh, generate. Now with the one problem here is that the paragraph writer feature doesn't know about the previous context of your text. So in this case, it doesn't know what the title is or what the intro is. And if we were to, let's say, generate a paragraph on some other headlines, then in that case, it wouldn't know about the previous content in this blog post. So it might or might not be totally relevant to what you are trying to write. So it's up to you. You can kind of use it. You just click that and it appends this paragraph just below that heading. Or what you can do is also, you know, I'll just delete this. And what you can do is place your cursor over here, select what length you want. So it can be small, medium or long. Let's say I go with medium and just click the write with AI button. So what the AI will do is it will start writing from that point onwards, as you can already see here. So I'll just stop here. I have a couple of lines. Let's just quickly remove some extra spaces. All right, so we have, you know, one paragraph here. You can make any edits. You can again click write with AI if you want to write on a specific thing after that. One other thing that you can also do here quickly is you can also rephrase this. Let's say if you don't like how this line sounds like, the subject line is the first thing your subscribers will see. It's important to keep them brief and clear. So let's just select this. Now there are two ways in which you can improve this or paraphrase this essentially. One is that you just select this text. So let's say I just select it like this and I click the AI shortcuts button over here and click on paraphrase. So this will give me a bunch of options which are like the paraphrased versions of that text. So let's say, you know, let's say we go with this one. So as you can see, it has replaced the original text with this one. That's one way of doing it. The other way to do it is also, let's say, same thing. I'll just pick this up. Go to the content rephrase tool and paste in the content. Click generate. And I'll just quickly get rid of this. So let's say we go with the second one, let's say. So just click this and it will add the paraphrase text right at the point where we put our cursor at. So yeah, that, that's how you kind of, you can use any of the features that we have, you know, whether that's a definition feature, for example, if you want to write a definition on email marketing, so you could just type in a heading and then put it in our sort of definition feature and, you know, insert that text. And you can do a bunch of other things like you can work with sales emails, you can write ebooks, you can write songs, you can write stories, up to you, it's up to your imagination. So just like that, I'll quickly write on each of these different subheadings. So I'll just, you know, click the write with AI button. It will take a couple of seconds. So I'll come back once I'm done with these headings and then I'll show you some of these other things that we can do here. All right, so if you see here, I have written a couple of paragraphs on each of these subheadings. Basically, I used a combination of the paragraph writer from here, and then also this write with AI feature that we already have on the Sonic editor. Now for the last paragraph, which is like the conclusion paragraph, what I'll do is use our conclusion writer feature. So let's say what I'll do is I'll just copy this whole thing. We'll paste it here and I'll click the generate button. Let's go back to the last point and we'll just insert the generated conclusion over here. All right, so let's say we go ahead with this one. So I'll just quickly append that. Let's remove the extra spacing. All right, so I think that's a decent conclusion over here. And yeah, so basically we have our whole article over here. If you see, we have written almost thousand words within a couple of minutes. And then we also have like a decent reading time, speaking time and a good readability score here as well. All right, now a couple of other things that you can do here. So let's say the next thing you would do is before publishing, 
you would produce the SEO meta tags for your blog post. So let's try and generate some meta tags. So I'll just go to the website copy section and search for SEO meta tags, or I can just search here directly. So I'll just search for SEO meta tags blog post. And in here, just copy paste the title and the introduction. And this also it requires the search term. So in this case, I'll just put email marketing tips. Let's click generate. And I'll just append the generated SEO meta tags here. So let's say we go with this one. So here we have our sort of SEO meta tags. And similarly, you can also generate a couple of other things. Like let's say if you wanted to publish this on social media, so you can go here, you can generate some tweets from this content, or you can do captions, you can do video hooks. Let's say if you wanted to convert this into like a video script and so on. So there is like endless possibilities with what you can do with this new feature. And once you're happy with the result, of course you can kind of go to the share button at the top right corner. You can share it directly where, you know, you can share the public link with someone who wants to view the result, which would look something like this. Or what you can also do is export it directly to your WordPress site, or you can also just download this article in three different formats. So, you know, you can download it in Word, PDF, HTML, up to you, whichever one you prefer. And then, yeah, you, you're good to go. We hope that you really like this new Sonic mode feature on the Sonic editor. Do reach out and let us know if you have any suggestions or improvements that you would like to have. And we would love to kind of add it to the roadmap and get it implemented as soon as possible. Until then, thanks a lot for watching this video. We hope you liked it and do let us know if you have any suggestions for us. Thank you.